Yeah. As soon as the bell rings, call me Mr. Feldy or Mr. Big Bopper. I'll make it a quick stop for the hand speed of a city pickpocket. Like a stampede of nothing but Zangies. I'm leading with arms swinging. They all like what an award winning performance with a bizarre event. We don't want anything. We gon' get everything. Shit, we gon' get seven things. We don't really wanna get caught leaving hip hop just as a memorable. Oh, Game Boys. Game Boys. No stress, but it's. Ah, no. Como 28 jueguitos. Un montón de jueguitos. Un montón de jueguitos. A ver, ¿está bien si los miro? ¿Cómo? ¿Está bien si los miro los juegos? ¿Está bien? Está bien. A ver. ¿Cómo estaba pidiendo? Por todo el montón, así unos uh, 165 o 10 por juego. Son como 25, 28 juegos más o menos. Pero nomás a 5 cada jueguito saldrían como 150 en puros juegos. Sí. 100, Sí. Mira, a ver cuál es. ¿Y si los testaste? ¿Este ya los testaste o no sabes si.? No, los compré así, me los traje. No, no. Este, ah, ok. Ninguno no lo compré. Un game show. Yeah, the, that pond is all rusted, so if you look in the vents, it's all rusted. Yeah, it's like, it wasn't like, yeah, uh, I mean, it wasn't yeah. the, like, uh, lost in the ocean. Right power, so I, I plug it in, so. Uh, you have a, no guarantee working, right? Uh, no, I just plug it in, it, it yeah. turns on the little red button to sound. Even if it works, it's going to have to be so rusty. So you're, you're stuck at 250? So far, yeah. All right, all right. Uh, I'll sit there. All right. You can make enough, and I can. Close it I up. do. I I would do the two NAD cases for like one seventy five. For three? Just the two. The, 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 the two nuts. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I don't get more. Right, maybe right. uh, we can deal later. Okay. That. All right. ¿Hace 120 por él? No, no puedo, 120. No. Sí, es que me conviene más vender los tropiezos porque le puedo sacar mucho más. Sí. Lo menos que te lo puedo dejar es 150. Todo. En la subasta cuando los compré también me ofrecieron 120 lolo cuando salí de la subasta, pero pues no. Sí. Es que está ahí caro, ¿verdad? Pinche subasta bien carísimo, no, no quieren dejar nada. No, eso que está diciendo, yes, mi amigo ya se salió de... Comprando de las subastas. Está bien caro, no pudimos agarrar nada. Cualquier cosa que sale, todos los quieren, pues, que no hay. Vamos para 140, para mí y para ti. ¿Está bien? I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ha <laughs> ha 
I wish I had the box. No, that was not. I wish it was the other one. Oh. There's a more rare one. The, the rare one, the pistons. Mm -hmm. Hold it, we just put it there. I'm gonna look around. Ah, oh, no. I don't have it. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, these are game zips. These are books. Oh, I didn't see that one. Was it turn or what? No, he's not looking like. Oh. What's this? That's sports. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, there's still more. Oh, there's more. Which is that one? Nah, nothing good. Game okay, good colors, base, invader. Uh -huh. mm, that one's not good. That one's a good one. Mm. This, I wish I had the box, but I'll take it anyways. These don't have the games, they're just cases. It's kind of odd. Wish I had the games, would have been good. Footage. Pull it out and we'll check it out here. I'm such a dirty. And you better watch out because the penalties right. and interest compound daily, making it seem impossible to ever get out of debt. You need to call the experts at Optima Tax Relief. <laughs> Solving tax issues is all they do. One call to Optima starts the process to stop the demand letters and stop aggressive. Did you have a Wii U? Huh? huh? Spittoons. I don't have a Wii U. Oh. I wish I did. Ugh. How much is this one? Uh, oh, he's coming right now. I don't know where he's at though, but I left him with the other swami. Oh, okay, I'll check. Where's the kid at? Do you need Smash Bros for the Wii? Uh, no. I don't have a Wii. Oh my goodness. I know. You don't got anything. I know. I only have a PS4. PS4, PS2, which is hard to even work. And, uh, and, uh, what's it called? Here with? Who? Secret Game Stand. You know. Oh. Kenneth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too bad. No, the no, kids are gonna laugh. Uh -oh. No, you know what was more funny? When you said that Gran Turismo 3 was Grand Theft Auto. Did I say that? Yes! When was this? It was on one of the. I forgot which one, but you were like, oh, it's a Grand Turismo 3. And then you said Grand Theft Auto. Wait, oh, it's Grand Theft Auto. And it was Grand Turismo 3. It's like, are you blunt from Steve? The Space Jam. I love that movie. Making fun of me in my video? No, I'm just kidding, yeah. guys. Yeah. He's a good kid. Who are you? Making my own video now. <laughs> hey, guys. Today, I just found this book. Today, I'm not affiliated with Secret Game. I see. Where'd you get this? Huh? Where'd you get this at? Garage sale. Garage sale, What? Damn. Oh, please be the white one. Ah, oh, black one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
No, like the filler titles. Huh? Oh, you took out the good ones. Why'd you take out the Mario's? Where are they at? You know what? I, that's what I asked them too. Can you have any of that? He's like, or I like say, I gave them to like one kid 50 years ago. I even asked them, I was like, What the hell? Like, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 2, 4, 6. Oh, wait, my bad. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's why. He had told me that he had 60 games primarily. He maybe tried all of them. But I guess he searched and then I put my number. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 200. Let's see. Better have an expansion pack, guys. Yeah. There might be a good manual here, Evan. <laughs> it's already at 200 at, like a decent price. Without the N64, right? No, without the N64. What the hell is a fake? What the fuck? I think those still have a manual for the. For the. Nice. Yeah, right now. Alright, at 10 bucks a box. This is 35. These are 888. That one's 6, and this one's 4. Oh, that one's broken from the top, huh? I see it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> These is the space guy to the. Yeah. They run between uh, 05 and 07. 20, 05 and 07. Yeah, they're newer ones. I saw. Yeah, this is, uh, I forgot his name. Oh, sorry, no, he just keeps falling. I just gotta adjust his foot out. And this one, he's missing the actual piece that goes up here. Oh wow, I can see it. It's 35. Yeah. And he also, this arm falls off occasionally, so I just. You nailed it. Put a nail in there. It'll still move a little bit. Yeah. Any more other stuff? Any more robots or guys' other no. stuff? Yeah. Just that robot over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, so what were the prices? I totally forgot about them. This one was four. What were the prices again? The ones in the back, they're all complete. $8 a piece. Yeah. The, the one with, it's like a blob. He's uh, six. And I'm going to blow out the uh, one guy for $4. $4. The one that's $4. Or, give me 30 bucks. I'll take them all. Yeah. For $30. Give me the last one for free. <laughs> oh, I wanted to take a but it's missing that part. <sighs> Let me walk around, see. Yeah. Um, I can't guarantee it'll be. Yeah. Back. No worries. Thank you. Yep. Guys, look at this awesome Robot Commando Amazing Mic Control Robot. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, so I got these guys. There's two if you want to. Okay, yeah, sweet. I found something I love. So how much do I eat? 90? Oh no, wait, uh, 40? Uh, 70. Okay. Cool. You don't have any more of this stuff, right? No. No? Oh, okay. I have more, I just didn't bring it. Oh, check this out. Vintage Batmobile. 
super rare one. Beautiful colors. It actually came out on Manhunter not long ago, but it's super rare uh, toy here. So very very nice. Figurine. A lot of cool stuff. Nick, should I get the pedal? The what? Should I get the pedal? No. Oh. Okay. Right. Super cool. too slow. How much in the game? What'd you get? So you got the Betrayal, Pac-Man, Kenneth got the Gremlins 2 for 3 bucks. I, I kind of want to get this game. It's a Mario game. Mario? I think. I, it looks like it. It looks like the EC Mario there, but I'm not sure. I have my Game Boy. Oh, you do? Yeah, I bought it. Well, yeah, you can test it out. Are you gonna play it though? Uh, yeah. It's up to you. It's up to you, Kenneth. Oh, they, there's no pictures of it? I don't know. There should be. No, no pictures. What's the picture? I think this is the closest thing to it. Hey, that's lame. I bought my nails, I hate them. I think this is the closest thing to a picture. Yeah. Well, hey, if you want it, see if you should do two for it. On the sport game. Eso? Eso es en 10 por los dos. O de una oferta. Right, guys, so here we are with the Donkey Kong 1981 arcade. Um, awesome, awesome find. Uh, this guy had it since last month um, at the flea market. It did not sell for, I think he said he, asked, he was asking 500. Um, got him down to, he wanted 400. I said, no way, I can't do that. I um, don't know if it doesn't know, I don't know if it works. And sure enough, it works, but it needs to get rewired. Um, so I got it down to 325. I gave the guy five bucks extra because he dropped it off. Um, outstanding. So the monitor is actually inside there, as you guys can see it. Um, so the guy that must have got this, this is actually repo stickers. Um, the person that had got the had the original took off the original parts of this OG um, Donkey Kong arcade. Um, so you put a newer one. This is where I let you select select a few of the games. Which is still pretty darn good, um, you know. It's just, it's just still with well, the way it sits, it still sells for like about seven hundred to a thousand two hundred working condition. Um, even though it's not the original parts, I can still get a lot, I got a decent amount of money for it. Uh, tomorrow, I'm actually meeting up with one of my uh, arcade fellas. Um, he's gonna come and rewire uh, it. He said it's super easy as long as he says he's just very happy that it's working. Um, the guy that did this, um, I guess for some reason, gave up on it. Um, put the wrong wires on different wires so I had to cut it it was actually working it was making noise and everything but um, he said you know he was giving me some advice and I did it but it's, it didn't work anyways so he's gonna come in tomorrow morning and rewire it for me uh, for free so I'm very excited um, I am actually not gonna keep this this actually will be up for grabs uh, I'm actually working out a trade at the moment for it maybe for some Shogun Warriors and some games um, some and maybe even a Turbo Express some guys trying to trade me some a lot of good stuff for it uh, which is crazy crazy cool so now, now I'm just gonna sell it I spent 325 that was a steal for this awesome vintage Donkey Kong Nintendo arcade so as you can see it has um, let's see well actually it has a whole bunch of games wow 
think it's seven out of ten, so seven pages out of six. That's about 60 games in there. So it has 60 modern games to play in there. Pac-Man uh, has a lot of like shooters. Uh, really, really cool actually. So Shaolin Road, as you can check that out. You guys can see that. Uh, so it's on the uh, page seven. So you can see again, really, really cool. I'm very happy that I got this. Um, maybe if I end up liking it, I'll end up keeping it. You know, maybe, but I thought I, was just, I bought it because no, it was just sitting there, nobody was looking at it. Uh, I sat there for quite some time, he was telling me, and then when I went, it was already 11, and nobody still looked at it or asked how much on it. Um, so that's why I told him, you know what, I'll do 300. He said, no, well, about 350. I said, we'll be in the middle at 325. He said, yeah. Um, well, for, pretty much I got it at 300. I had to pay the guy to ship it over here, bring it down for $30. 25, I gave him an extra five bucks just because it was really cool. Um, so in the end of the day, I got it for 330, which is a steal for a vintage Donkey Kong. Uh, arcade stick, uh, arcade. So, I'm very excited, guys. I had to show you this awesome find. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's Pump City Game Stash here. Early in the morning, ready to go hit the swap meet. Uh, but I made a video for you guys because lately I haven't put up videos. Um, it's been quite some time, but I do have some videos for you guys to enjoy. Um, you know, Retro Respect is today and all that cool stuff. So, I'm pretty much bringing a crew with us to go out and hang out. And bring my camera for you guys to enjoy the event, see what I see, and all that kind of good stuff. So, anyways, what I've been up to um, lately, I've been pretty, bu uh, pretty damn busy, um, pretty much with work and all that kind of stuff, going on vacation, and it's just been pretty damn nuts, guys. Um, and then another thing is, I've been collecting um, diecast robots, um, jumbo machinders, and stuff like that. So, you know, I've pretty much got myself out of game hunt, um, not game hunting, but collecting games. Unless I see something that I kind of want, I'll grab it, but, I mean, I grab it, I'll keep it. Um, as you guys saw, I picked up some pretty good games last week. Um, not last week, like weeks ago on the NES. I kept a few things. Um, and then the arcade you guys saw, uh, the Donkey Kong one, I sold already. That was an easy, easy sell. Beautiful system to see, um, just wasn't one of the ones that I want to keep. Um, I'm one of those guys that want to keep, like, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, or, you know, um, just some amazing systems, Neo Geo stuff. Um, I actually might be, um, I might be getting two Neo Geo systems um, working and everything for a standing price, I think like 300 a piece, which is great. So, hopefully, cross fingers, you know, um, it's an old uh, video store that still has them. Went out of business, um, I kept his contacts, and I contacted him, so he still has them. He's willing to let them go. So, anyways, has them at his storage. Might be able to get some of those guys. So, just to get off, you know, where I'm at, guys. I know footage has been lacking a lot. Um, just because I've been buying a lot of random stuff, guys. I've been buying stuff that sells, make quick cash. It's just not video games. It's electronics, toys. Um, you know, collectibles, anything that I can flip to support my hobby because uh, collecting robots, guys, is super expensive. I just bought two super rare ones that are pretty expensive, you know. So um, I got them for an outstanding deal in, um, from a collector in Taiwan. Um, very excited, happy to get them. Um, but I was able to cut down one of the hardest ones to get. Not super hard, but it's very uncommon. Very, very uncommon. Um, then lastly is, uh, you know, trying to collect for jump, uh, Jumbo Machinder, guys, is expensive, super, super expensive. From here on, like, pretty much that I already have all the uh, American release versions, and then I'm going for, like, I can go for, like, the first, there's, like, three of them. There's, like, the first generation, second generation, third generation American releases, but there's no point in that. I feel like just having one or two with a different variant, as long as it looks different, then it's worth getting. But getting all the variants, it's, it's insane. It, there's no point in getting a three of each robot. There just really isn't. Um, and then there's, of course, the Uni 5, which are like the Japan release, Poppy fa uh, robots, Jumbles. Um, um, they're with, they, they go for a grip. Um, I'm just missing one that I think I need for my collection, and that is uh, Mazinger Z. Um, I already got Garada K7, which is pretty obs not super hard to get, but nobody ever wants to let it go because it's such a beautiful toy. Um, and, and it's a crazy story. I'll make a video for you guys to enjoy because there's no video of these robots um, except for the uh, U.S. release ones. Um, but from beyond that, there's no video. There's no knowledge of it uh, because people don't like talking about them, I guess. Uh, but 
people like me, people like young collectors that want to collect this stuff, we want that knowledge. You have to go to websites and private you know, messaging, and that's the only way you're going to get to know some of these robots, but I feel like, so, if you guys see these videos, you know, if you guys don't like toys, don't watch them. If you guys do enjoy, I want you guys to get, you know, start exploring your mind to different, you know, g g different um, gender stuff, you know, different gender stuff, different, um, just different, a different atmosphere, different uh, hobby. Uh, for me, I've been enjoying it very well, been very lucky finding some of this stuff out in the wild, like very, very lucky. Um, some I bought through some guys, some of my group collectors um, that found some of the Swami, and I was like, hey, you want this? Like, dude, buy it, I'll take it from you. Um, so anyways, I, I know I've been talking so much. I want to show you guys um, some that I was able to get. Um, I got this guy right here um, from Oscar Syphic. He gave me the black-faced uh, Voltron. And this is the original Matchbox uh, Blue Face. Where is it? Right there. Voltron there. And then, of course, all some of my diecast. Some of the stuff I've been able to find at the Swami. Uh, one of my subscribers gave me that uh, Ultraman clock, which is a little hard to get. I'm very happy he gave me that. So he's got to get it fixed, and then I'll be good. But uh, I'll show you guys. Of course, there's uh, Rodan. Here is uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, pretty. Not A lot of people don't want to sell their... Uh, Garada K7, and then of course the last one is uh, uh, Tetsusin 1-7. So, like I said, I was very lucky to get some of those guys together from Taiwan. Um, and then of course, you know, here's my other collection. And uh, yeah, a lot of you guys don't know, I sold part of my collection uh, because I'm going to Hawaii. I was planning on going to Japan, but um, it's just, I know for a fact I'll spend all my money just buying toys, uh, and I'll probably come back home home broke, so... And I still have to pay for all the fees to bring them over, so it's just not worth it. I'd rather go to Hawaii, have a real vacation, um, do a little bit of hunting over there, and then come back. So if you guys are in Hawaii, let me know. Any of you uh, subscribers, I'm heading over there. Maybe this month, coming up month. If not, the following month, I gotta wait. Um, see, nobody asked for vacation within those two months, but like I said, I have priority because I haven't used my vacation. So, very excited about that. So anyway, sorry about that, guys. Um, I'll do a few, a full tour, talking about a lot of stuff of my collection. Uh, like I said, I'm very happy where I'm at right now. Very excited. Um, you know, it's come a long, long way, guys. And um, I can't wait to meet you guys, any of you guys. You know, I met uh, Kenneth. We're going to go out hunt today with David. Um, so all my subscribers, if you guys ever want to hunt, you know, I'll be happy to go do that with you guys. So there's a few expos coming up, Toy Expos. I'll be there, too. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Like I said, I do apologize for the footage, lack of footage. I'm going to get back on that and start hunting harder than ever before. Um, but I just don't make videos on me finding other stuff, just video games. Unless you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Because I find some crazy stuff that's worth flipping. Um, and buy some of these crazy jumbos that go for a fortune. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time.